it was just weird. Like, why is this guy stalking me? Like, what is he doing? Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nancy Tigers, and if you've already been here before, then welcome back. Guys, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, and that you give this video a like. Today I'm doing a video, and I am going to talk about a stalker. I, for some reason, kind of like watching videos like that, so I thought, why don't I talk about my story? Because I do sometimes go on videos and I'm like, oh, I want to talk, like, my stalker, or whatever. So I'm really, you know. <laughs> I love stories, so I don't know. I do them too. <sighs> so, a long time ago, I used to work in a bar. So I would come home really late. Actually, like late. That's not even a word. I'd come early, okay? Because like, by the time the place closed and by the time like I go to where I'm going, I would make it home in the middle of the mo <laughs> at morning, 4 a.m., 5 a.m., whatever. Take my shower and go to bed, you know? So it's like I had this like routine because I was always working like really late to like morning. So I was, I had this like, I would sleep during the day. <laughs> and go to work at night and I would work downtown and then I would I didn't have a car for a while what did I have a car then but anyways even if I did like going downtown you don't want a car because like literally you have to pay the parking and the gas and all that things but I'm pretty sure then I didn't have a car that moment then so I used to take the metro the bus and all that stuff and where I live I was close to the metro close enough to walk not far enough to take a bus so I would walk to the metro all the time and uh, so my routine was when I come home from work I'd walk from the metro all the way to my house I'd have a snack no I would take a shower put my PJ and have a snack and I had this window in my kitchen and I didn't have any or did I have some but I usually don't shut them my curtains are always open it's really rare that I close it close it now like I used to not close it at all now I close it but back then like my windows were always open I was on the third floor right third floor so I remember one time I got out of the shower and I had my towel and then I look in a window and I notice this guy who's looking in like I can't say it was my window but I was like this guy is literally looking at my apart at my apartment you know so I just like whatever and I keep walking but then I I'm eating having a snack before going to bed and I noticed the same guy and the thing is this guy, I looked at him for a while, okay? This guy walks by looking in my apartment and then I didn't see him. Like, cause it was like, okay, so I have to explain. So there's my window, there's a street, there was a tree and there was a building like this and there was a, like a, a, another street. So he could, he like, so the building was like this and like this and there was like a, it wasn't a street but it was like a side street. I don't even know how to call it. So the guy walked like this so then I don't see him. Cause like I could, if I looked in the window, I could see cause there's another, that was the street. There was the street my street and the building was like this and then there was a side street which was like where small cars it was like parking for the cars of the building so the guy walks at first he walks behind the building or beside the building so i'm like okay whatever and i just do my thing but then after that i see him pass again on the other side going towards that way and so i'm like okay that's weird you know like he literally is passing and the thing is not oh he's passing that's weird like i don't care you can do you could pass 15 times if you want i don't care you're probably doing something but the fact that he was looking in my apartment because now i'm like this guy's looking in my apartment and so he's looking in my window and he's passing back and forth and so i stop and i don't go in the window and look but i look back further where he can probably not see me that well and I start looking at what he's doing and now the guy literally goes again but this time he decides to start changing so he passes behind the tree changes his coat like takes it off his hat he's like changing now in passing and I can see him do it. He's literally going in back of the tree, taking his hat off, and like keep walking. And then he passes and takes his coat off and like keeps passing. I'm literally looking at this guy pass back and forth, back and forth in front of my apartment. Or beside my apartment, because that was my side window. Beside my apartment, back and forth, and now changing so I don't recognize him, so I don't think it's the same guy. He's literally doing this, so I don't know that it's the same guy, because he's passing back and forth, back and forth, so he doesn't, like it's, like for example, if I'm wearing like a red coat, and like I'm all in like black with a red coat, and I pass and I pass, people are gonna recognize. But if I take off my red coat and I keep passing, oh, no, people don't know, but I'm looking at him do it. So now I'm literally, this guy has been in my window for about 20, 30 minutes, okay? I don't know the time frame, but I know it was a long time. And I see him 
changing and passing and it's it's not like he's doing this and this and this like there's like a little lapse of like minutes and time like not minutes but like second whatever you understand what I mean he stops there he does something he comes back he does something he like goes back to the tree change and then goes on the side and then change and then so he's doing this for a long time now I freak out back then I think it was either a friend or he was my boyfriend like I don't know if we were still together or not but like he was there and I tell him about this I'm like look at this look at this guy and he looks at it and he's like oh my god you need to call the police and I was like yeah definitely so I call the police and I tell them like look there's this guy he's literally looking at my window and like he's passing and changing and he's been there for like a good 15 to 30 minutes changing and like passing in front like this is ridiculous it's really sketchy it's really like it's really weird like there's there's something wrong like I don't know like it is it like I don't know it's just weird like why is this guy stalking me like what is he doing like what is he doing it was so weird and like I'm not saying like why is he stalking me like dude okay I'm like a pretty girl and like, maybe he was looking if like I'm living by myself or not and that house that apartment that I had wasn't like a two-door like meaning it wasn't like I had to open a locked door and then it was my door where it was locked it was literally like my door was outside and so someone could just walk up the stairs unlock like one door and I had also a door in the back but that one was like not really accessible it wasn't really accessible the front door though was so someone could just walk up the third floor and the, it was outside too it wasn't inside like I said it was just my door was outside my gallery I opened my door and my gallery was there <laughs> So I actually might have a picture if I can because I took a picture in front of it but anyways so I'm literally like is this guy like trying to see if I live alone is he trying to see like me like in my full nudity is he trying to see like me change like what is this guy doing like this is he want something like does he want to get in like is he trying to come in my house when I'm sleeping like I don't know like is he trying to like catch me when I'm outside catch me outside <laughs> I don't know, but it was just so freaky. So I called the police and I'm not even joking when I said I called the police and I was looking, looking, literally waiting for the police to arrive, thinking hopefully he's still there when they arrive so they can like do something about it. And sunset! I'm pretty sure the police did get a chance to talk to him because after that night or morning, I didn't see him ever again so it never happened ever again but it was pretty crazy it was insane it was a little scary but luckily like I said I wasn't living alone so it wasn't like oh my god I'm so scared like something can happen like I had someone in my house with me so it wasn't like I wasn't scared I wasn't scared in my house but I mean when I was walking out that was different you know so yeah let me know if you guys ever had a story like this if you ever saw something or if you ever lived this or if you ever saw saw something like this happen let me know down in the comments and uh, let me know if you guys want to see if you want to hear more story time make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification make sure you give this video a like and I hope to see you for my next video bye for now